we have gotten a decent bit of help from other teams. Since we lost to Barcelona in the Copa del Rey fifth round, and then we drew them in our regular La Liga match, Barcelona has not won a game since. They've drawn three, and as a result, that puts us four points ahead of them and in sole possession of first place in La Liga. That could change today, though. We are playing Lyon in our Champions League away match, and that is after we drew with them at home. I have that mixed up. We played away first. This is the home match, so we need a win. And then we're playing Real Zaragoza, who are a solid squad. We still have yet to lose a game, and I don't know that we can get through an invincible season. We still have 10 games left, and if we keep winning in the Champions League, it's just going to add to the score. Luckily, though, most of our players are coming off injury. So, I'm not going to make any predictions. As soon as I do, they're just going to go out the window. My name's FM Jellico. It's time to get real. So this is Barcelona's schedule, and as you can see here, this is where they beat us in the Copa del Rey. This is where they beat us in La Liga. They lost to Madrid in the semifinal first leg. Then they drew with Athletic Club, drew with Atletico, and then uh, they drew with Liverpool, and they got back onto a winning streak. But it's this series of games right here that caused them to not essentially gain any ground. While they were drawing, we were winning. We beat Sporting 4-0 thanks to, uh, this got changed. What the heck happened here? Let me, oh, I hit the wrong thing. Okay, so we beat, uh, but we beat Sporting 4-0 thanks to goals by Maria, brace of goals by Vlaka Hranic and a Rune Tolleson goal in the 39th minute. It was 4-0 up at the half, and after the half, Sporting just really didn't try anything. Against Espanyol, we thumped them 5-1. Kornberg had an own goal in the 43rd minute. Roberto had a goal, Verdonk had a goal, Havanek had another goal off a penalty kick, Maria had a goal. And then against Villarreal, we beat them 3-2 thanks to goals by Carlos Roberto, Miko Stebic, and Barry Verdonk in the 90th minute to see, the, to see us through. The 90th minute goal... It was well earned. Frankly, if it occurred at any other point in time in the game, it would have been a great goal. But as a result, it happened in the 90th minute. So, you know, Villarreal got FM'd. As it stands, we are now four points ahead of Barcelona. We still have yet to lose a game. They've lost two and drawn four. We've won 23 and drawn five. Barry Badonk leads us with 25 goals. Augusto, the highest average rating at 7.71 and 17 assists. Timo Furstein. Uh, my defensive right back, best pass completion, which is kind of interesting. Robert Maria leads us with seven players in the match. Augusto also has 13 yellow cards. Tolleson, Slamano, and Hurst, each with one red card. In our 28 matches played, our San Francisco goals scored our second highest. Our 23rd goals allowed our third best. We have 80 yellow cards and one red card. I swear, we're going to finish this season again with more yellow cards than we do points. It's freaking unbelievable. So... That said, I'm going to double-check my best 11, set the reserves, and we're going to be back with the second half of our Champions League first knockout match against Lyon in just a bit. Well, Furman Malo and Israel are off the injury list. They're not exactly 100% match fit, but they are starting today. we got Seferovic in goal, Kerma, Stevic, Lenz, and Furstein as the defensive back four. Gusto and Malo as the midfielders. And for Duncan and Israel as the attacking midfielders, Roberto Maria up top as the striker. The only player of significance still out on injury is Uche, and he should be back within the next week to 10 days. Brenner, did he start last time? I don't think so. Maybe he did. So Augusto's sub-90, but I'm okay with that for now. We need a victory today, and with him on the field, we have a better chance of getting it. Fitz Jim from outside the box sends it in, knocked back and forth until finally cleared away, but Ampadu runs that down, sends it to Rakitas, to Deponda, over to Harley, to Deponda, dispossessed by Augusto. Malo ends up with the ball. He feeds Maria, taps it to Roberto, got between the defenders, takes the shot, ready to Smith. Ampadu just ends up kicking it out of bounds. Kerma on the throw on Roberto. Verdonk. Long past Israel. He taps it forward for Maria. Oh, and DeSmit got there before Maria did. Maria was kind of impeded by the defender. It was a nice pass. If he'd gotten there in time, it would have been a nice opportunity to score. Harley with the ball. Over to Rakajas. And Israel dispossesses him. Drives forward. Holds it up. Taps it back to Furstein. 
He sends it to Augusto, back to First Dean, to Malo, who's dispossessed by Harley. I don't know what the heck is going on there. The guys just ran into each other. Harley takes a shot, but it's right at Seferovic. To Panda, to Jokalic. And he is dispossessed by Verdant because their players ran into each other, but Jacob runs down the loose ball, gets it back to Harley. He one-taps it to Fitzjim, to Brenner, to Alleluia, who gets it to Brenner, who puts it past Seferovic. And we need to beat them at least 2-1 now because they have an away goal as well. If we draw... I don't know what happens. Do we go to penalty kicks? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I haven't looked at those rules in a while. It's... Malo doesn't get the loose ball. He's who fouls. Who fouled who? Oh, son of a... You're freaking kidding me. <sighs> Unflippin' real. We're one nil down, and we're a player down. Son of a gun. Mala got sent off on a straight red. I can't remember the last time that happened. You know what? We're going to get Augusto off and bring on Petrov. Stevic. Out to Kerma. Long pass towards Verdunk. Doesn't really have any help. Gets it by the one, gets it by the other. DePanda finally knocks it out of bounds. It was a good opportunity. Gone wanting. Trakalj on the throw and Israel bangs it up but Fitzjim intercepts it. Harley out to Rakajas. Back to Harley. To Fitzjim. He rounds the defenders. Takes the shot but hits the side of the net. Seferovic. Over to Stevic. Back to Seferovic. Up to Lenz. To Petrov. Out to Israel. He lost it into space for Maria. Got by the defender. Takes the shot. We equalize. That was nice. I'll praise the guys now. Nice long pass by Israel into space for Maria to run right up on it. Just puts it by the keeper. Israel loses the ball, but Petrov gets it away, but it goes to Harley. Brenner to Groot to Fitzjim out to Trakalj, takes the shot, and he pushes it just wide right. We we are going to take Roberto off and bring on Hravanek. Move Petrov over and make Kravanek the ball-winning midfielder. Israel, corner kick in. Oh, knocked away. Kerma's going to run it down, hopefully. He does. Gets it back to Lenz. Back to Furstein. All the way back to Seferovic. The guys reset. Stevic to Seferovic. Over to Lenz. Kravanek. Out to Israel. He drives forward, holds it up, crosses it in. Verdonk is there, but he's over the crossbar. Got a bunch of guys at 70%. Stevic's down to 42. Nuts. Okay, we got to get Stevic off then. Let me see here. We'll bring Spender on. That's our last sub. 12 minutes, and then i be honest with you, I don't know what happens. We each have an away goal. Matrovic to Jacob. Bounces it off. A player, it goes out to the midfield. Harley runs it down, gets it to Fitzjim. Back to Panda, To Rakajas. To Panda. Up to Navarro. Fitzjim almost loses the ball, gets it back, drives forward. Kerma intercepts the pass for Donk to Kerma out to Israel. He drives forward, taps it off to Maria on the right. 
Maria holds it up, crosses it in, knocked away. Navarro bombs it forward up to Pettit. Pettit to Alleluia. One on one with Sep. Son of a gun. Hallelujah, got right, got by Spender, didn't he? Got by Lens. We got five minutes to get it done. And we're not going to do it. Son of a gun. Freaking Furman Malo. Man, you know you beat Schalke on goal differential. Stevic's out for one to two days. Mala suspended for one match. And I'm fining him two weeks' salary. Normally I fine him just one, but that cost us the game. That hands down cost us the game. <sighs> Unflippin' real. Well, I'm going to save the game here, and we're going to come back. I'm totally forgetting who we're playing. Zaragoza? Someone in Spain. Good grief, I am hacked off. Back in a bit. Just when I think we're getting close, someone goes and shoots us in the foot. So we got Zaragoza coming up next. I'm going to get to that game, and we will be back with that here in just a few. Well, nothing of consequence really happened during the week. We're going with a slightly rotated side today. We got Bates and goal, Karmis, Stavik, Lenz, and Firstine as the defensive back four, Gusto and Petrov as the midfielders, Tollison and Kleber as the attack midfielders, Roberto and Maria up top as the strikers. I'm still so miffed at what happened in that Champions League game, I forgot to hit record. So the second half just started. Robert Maria got a goal right before the end of the first half. Roberto got the ball completely... Turned the defender completely around. Took a shot. I want to say it was a shot. But uh, it was very slow. Sanchez for Zaragoza came in with like a slide tackle block. And he was headed right towards Pfeiffer, the Zaragoza keeper. So Pfeiffer just kind of stood there was like, what the heck am I going to do? Sanchez missed the ball. Maria was right there and he put it in. So we are ahead. 1-0. Sanchez to Rubio on the throw-in. Lorente, Banas back to Lorente, but the ball gets knocked away. Clever out to Roberto. I am playing a little bit of a rotated side here. Tolson, Clever, Lenz. Oh, Roberto loses it. Marty out to Sar. Up to Lorente. We got Bates in goal, and Rubio heads it over the crossbar. Petrov is starting in place of Malo. Maria. Oh, off the post. That was a shot. Roberto can't quite control it. He's got two Zaragoza players in front of him, so it goes out for a corner kick. And you can still hear the dong from here. Lenz tries doing the same thing. He bounces it off as Zaragoza player. Roberto runs it down. Gets it to first in. Coming up on 60 minutes here. We'll make a couple of changes after this. Free kick. Stevic up to Tolleson to Roberto, and he pushes it just wide left. We're going to get Spender on for Kerma. I'm going to bring Israel on for Kleber. Kleber's definitely got potential. He's done some very nice things, but Gusto with a free kick in. Somebody got fouled. Lens got fouled. Okay, so who's taking this? Hervanic or Augusto? Hervanic's not in the field. So it's going to be Augusto. And he puts it away. Well done. He's got Man City and Bayern chasing after him. So offseason is going to be very, very interesting. Very nice goal kick. Penalty kick, rather. Sanchez to Marty. Oh, he tries passing the ball and he bounces off a high end player. Maria sends it forward to Roberto. He holds it up, gets by one defender, gets by the other, and runs into the post. 
That was strange. About 10 minutes left. We are going to get firsting off and bring on Slomanu. Uche is back, but as you can see, he's nowhere near match fit, nowhere near healthy. So next week, probably, he will be back on the starting. My substitution didn't go through, did it? I totally screwed that up. We should be okay. Sar. To Jocelu, to Lorente, back to Sar. Long pass towards Banis, but he can't control it. Heads it to Stevic, up to Augusto. Long pass, Maria got between the defenders. Rounds the keeper, but Pfeiffer makes a very nice save. Augusto, corner kick in, knocked away by Banis. And that is going to be the match. A very nice 2-0 victory for us. Actually, let me... Can I go back? So here's the first goal. Roberto totally flat foots Gonzalez. Tries taking a shot. At least I think it was a shot. And then you had Sanchez come in and make the move. And Pfeiffer just... He, frankly, didn't know which way to go. And so, as a result, Maria ended up scoring. And we are still four points ahead of Barcelona. We've got some scattering reports to get through here. Let me do that real quick. Now, these are my players out on loan, so we, we can take a look at some of these. So, Agi has had a very good loan spell. Blanco has had a very good loan spell, but... I don't know. He's not really developing like I thought he would. He's a solid player. He's just not a La Liga player. Tosevsky is my other young defensive left back. He and Kermit will be fighting it out next year. So he also has a ton of potential. And if we compare him to Kerma. They each have different skill sets. Tavesky is a little bit better, but I think Kerma has a higher potential. Kwaku is having a very nice season out at Huesca. 29 appearances, three goal, three players of the match, 10 assists, three goals. He's another one of those youth players that I brought in. And, you know, he kind of falls into that He'll be a starter, but not for us. But it was a risk we took. And with 375,000 euros, you know, he could have turned into something. And frankly, he could be a solid backup. Vish is having a solid season as well. 30 appearances, two players in the match, two assists, two goals. But then again, he also, for some reason, he's falling, and I don't know why. He also kind of falls in that area of good, but not good enough. He's coming close to realizing his full potential. Perevic is my young center back. He is doing okay. Um, I got him mostly because of his mentals more than anything else. But, you know, again, you, you take a risk on some of these guys. He came in on a free, so I can't really complain about that. Seika, another midfielder, 25 appearances, two assists, one goal. Now, he's definitely got potential, and he's versatile. He'll he'll be on the team by by virtue of the fact that he can play five positions fairly well. Physically, he's nice. Mentally, he's good where it counts. So he will definitely get some time. Especially, I think Malo might be leaving. Malo's kind of maxed out. He's still better than uh, Petrov, but Petrov has a higher ceiling. So, Jot Macchiato. Macchiati, good grief, I can't believe I mispronounced that. An okay loan spell at um, Almerion. Again, another one of those defensive midfielders that I'm trying to make a ball-playing defender. So he definitely has a future. He will, he's only 19 years old. He'll go out on loan again next year. I will be playing him probably at midfielder or ball-playing defensive center back. So here's the loan round up here. Ilz Navarro, he is my very young defensive center back. He has a ton of potential. I think this is wrong here. I really think this is wrong here. I mean, even if it is wrong still, 
he's got all the he's got all the right skills in all the right places. So this is, this would be a case where like a three star potential guy is a full on three star potential guy. Then uh, we click here, players on loan. We get a listing of everybody, and it's the loan view. Can we go to squad view? Yeah, we can. Question is. So appearance-wise, Victor Okoro leads everybody with 34. He's also having a good season. He's got some potential as well. So, I mean, if we sort by potential, I've got some very nice players out on loan. Lenz is the guy we have loaned in. So Tosevsky, Macchiati, Romero de Decker is having an, an okay season. If you look at it from a goals point of view, uh, Konstantinovic, who is a midfielder, is having an okay season. Um, Assist-wise, it's going to be Kwaku, players of the match. It is Victor Coro. That kind of makes sense. He's a midfielder. So and as you can see here, the, the things I like, all these guys are fairly, fairly good on with the exception of Zomble. But Zomble is not a long-term solution. I brought him in just as depth on the under-19 squad. He was absolutely tearing it up there. And so um, uh, Alcimini Balampier asked for him on loan. I was like, yeah, sure. He, I mean, he had 15 goals in, in 10 matches for the under-19s. And he's, he's not the best player. I mean, he's kind of speedy, and that's about it. So, we won our fifth straight. We won our, we won our fifth straight. Um, you know what? I wonder. It's been a while since I've looked at myself here. Profile. We are a better defending coach than we are attacking coach. It's very, very interesting. Tactical, technical, mental is good. Working with youngsters is only an 11, but that makes sense. Determination, player knowledge, youngster knowledge, a little discipline. How is that a 22? Good grief. Is that is, is that new? Is that... Can you go above 20s now? So we got a four-star reputation. Let's my assistant do the talking for me. You darn skippy. Coaching style, defending, which is interesting because we always play on the attack. Wow. Okay. Um, Continental Pro License. Yeah, I can't go any higher. So let's take a look at the schedule here. What are we going to do next? We've got nine games left. And our last four are against teams that are the lower league of the table. This Atletico. Yeah, they're mid-table as well. Do we play through all the way to the end and just get the season over with? I mean, there's nothing left to play for, really. I mean, we're playing for first place. We got Osasuna, Ibar, Deportivo, Cadiz, Atletico, Catafi, Malaga, Lavas, Granada. So Osasuna is 15th, Ibar is 6th, Deportivo is 7th, Cadiz is 10th, Atletico is 12th, Getafe, Malaga, Alaves, Granada. I'm not quite sure what that was. My daughter yelling at my son about something. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back for the Atletico game. And by that point, we should know where we stand against Barcelona. It might be one of those cases where it comes down to the wire, if that's the case. Last episode of the season could be fairly long. It could be us just playing Atletico and then doing an end-of-season recap. So this is kind of an odd place for us because there's games left, but they're not all that important. And I don't really see a reason to keep on doing double live comps. I mean, I can't think of one. Can you guys? I mean, the, the season's already 10 episodes long. It'll end at 11 or 12. And frankly, if I was playing for some sort of Civil War, I'd be okay with that. But we're not. So, still the opportunity for an invincible season. Uh, Barcelona can still catch us, though. They go on a winning streak. We go on a drawing streak. It, it can happen. So, that said, we're doing really well. I'm still hacked at Malo. I'm really upset about the fact we lost that Leon's game. I, what the board wants to do this year. They want us to reach the first knockout round. When we reach the first knockout round, we should be going farther next year. So, man, that was annoying as heck. That's going to that's gonna stick for a while.
did like what you've seen in here, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments. Leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I